what is going on with the FTX trial. There is a lot of stuff we got to cover today, but before we get into all of that information, because it's getting kind of crazy, let's take a look at the prices of all our favorite cryptocurrencies. Let's take a look at the rankings here on CoinMarketCap. As you can see here, nothing much has been changing around. Um, Polygon recently had kind of a, a big move they made, so they're trending, I guess. But yeah, not too much to look at. And as we go to the charts, as you can see here, Bitcoin is just trotting around, just hanging out. The altcoins aren't doing too much. Ethereum's not really doing too much at all. As we go down to the S&P 500, we can see the stock market's rebounded pretty well. And we can see the dollar has been dumping. So the dollar is shooting that liquidity back out and the stock market's pumping. Unfortunately, our magic internet beans have not been really moving, but that's kind of expected. We're in a bear market. It is what it is. But yeah, not too much. Let's take a look at the price of gold. Gold is doing relatively well. Gold's been pumping. Let's take a look at silver. Silver has been pumping as well. Let's take a look at oil. Oil has been dumping. And yeah, as we take a look at some of these general stocks, let's look at Tesla. Tesla has been a little bit on the rise. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple's, you know, bounce back. And then let's take a look at some of our growth stocks. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin mining stocks. They've been doing okay. But overall, the stock market's been doing good. And crypto's just kind of been remaining flat. Into our first story, to take a look at this. Legendary investor Paul Tudor Jones said... Bitcoin should probably take on a larger percentage of her portfolio. And this is bullish. And anything that comes from a big, you know, legendary trader, influencer, whatever you want to call them, is good. Any noise about Bitcoin and being bullish about Bitcoin is good for Bitcoin. We need people to start talking about it. I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, I don't think we're really going to see any, you know, real movements. Maybe we do. I hope I'm wrong. But I don't think we're really going to see anything too incredibly bullish until we hit that halving area, halving time you know, in April of 2024. And then of course, in 2024, at the end of it, we have the US presidential election. And historically, every single US presidential election results in the markets pumping. So I think Q4 of 2024 is going to be when we really get that first real bull leg up. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And to our next story, take a look at this. The buy signal is here. Jim Cramer said on CNBC, Bitcoin is about to go down big. So that is the classic Jim Cramer. You already know, inverse Cramer. The classic bottom signal. Thought that was pretty funny. And then to our next story, take a look at this. U.S. debt will become unsustainable and trigger default in about 20 years if it stays on the current path per BI. So here's my take on the whole, you know, a recession happening and all that. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know how I feel about this. And I've talked about this before in probably a couple of my videos. But I do not think we're going to see the Doomer scenario play out this year. It's not going to happen. The Biden administration is not going to let that happen. They want to come into the elections election time with people liking them. If the Doomer scenario plays out and they let the whole world economy collapse, everyone's going to be pissed at Biden. And he wants to win again. So if he wants to win, people can't be mad at him. Okay? So he needs to keep the show going. He needs to keep the chairs moving. The music ain't going to stop under him, I'll tell you that. Eventually, the music's going to have to stop, and we know this. And I agree with Unusual Wales. At some point, I don't think it's going to be for a long, long time. I think they're going to continue to keep keeping this funny money economy going for as long as they can. I don't think it's going to be for a while. So I'm not even too worried about it. I think the system 2024, you know, obviously the yield curve's inverted, a lot of other bad stuff. But I think it's going to get to the point where it's about to break, and then they're going to inject a record amount of liquidity because... Biden wants to get elected again. These people don't want to lose their jobs. So, yeah. Now, take a look at this. To our main story of the day, let's talk about it. Caroline Ellison, the whole FTX trial shit went on yesterday, and it's going on today too. Day two, take a look at this story from Watch Your Guru. Ex-girlfriend Caroline Ellison, who was one of the co-founders of All Made Research, which was the biggest crypto hedge fund, was, says FTX founder Sam Bankman fried directed her to commit crimes. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, I think she was probably smart enough on her own to, like, you know, know what she was doing. But, hey, you know, maybe it works. It's, you know, maybe you can pull that out of the bag and say you're getting manipulated, whatever. But I don't think I don't think they're falling for that shit. Not, not you, Caroline. Come on. And then take a look at this from Bloomberg. Jurors in the fraud trial, Sam Bigman Freed, heard his ex-girlfriend explain Tuesday how he allegedly arranged for billions in dollars of customer funds to be back to back risky investments that led to the collapse of FTX. Yeah, we know. This dude was literally the biggest DJ ever. I mean, these guys were literally sitting in the Bahamas making 
billions of dollars off funny money doing a ton of drugs and just fucking around. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous when you really break it down and think about it. It's kind of nuts. Sam Bankman Freed went fucking insane. And here's a little whole write-up on the whole thing of what happened. So as it says here, Ellison's testimony had long been expected to occur today. And today was yesterday. Day two is today. With the former CEO being a crucial part of the case, her inside knowledge of Bankman Freed and the company could present a strong case against FTX. I just don't see it happening. You know, it's just, it's not, we're not buying her shit, Caroline. She was a smart person. She was able to make a lot of money and she fucking lost it all because she's a fucking DJ. And then take a look at this. If you guys don't remember, Sam Bankman Freed basically paid off you know, all the politicians in Washington, Republicans and big time with the Democrats. So as it says here, Sam Bacon Free thought political donations got him high returns for little money, Carolyn Ellison said. And here are all the people he gave money to, by the way. I mean, and he was right. Um, I think if he wasn't such a degen, he would have pulled off the ultimate scheme. And he kind of was. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Holy crap. But yeah, as you can see here, you've seen a lot of blue. These are all the people he donated to. You see he's got those two big Republicans up there, but it's Republican, I mean, Democrat, Democrat, and basically it's all Democrats. So he paid them all off. It's kind of ridiculous about the whole thing. And we do also know that he was allegedly going to try and pay Trump a couple billion dollars to not run in 2024. He was in cahoots with the Democrats. We know this. And then take a look at this today from Coindesk. Good morning from the Sam Bacon trial today. Much like yesterday, is expected to focus on ex Alameda CEO Caroline Ellison. And today's day two. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming up. And then take a look at this. Our final thing from this, from CoffeeZilla, Caroline Ellison said Sam Bacon Free thought he had a 5% chance to become president one day of the United States. And now a lot of people would say, man, that's, that's freaking crazy, man. I think if he did not, if he played, you know, he was never playing a clean game. But if he played a game where he didn't absolutely, you know, throw everything overboard and be a, such a degen low key on the low, maybe not president, but definitely a high official. This dude had, he was in cahoots with everybody. He had Gensler on his side. He had the Biden administration on the top on his side. He had all the politicians. He was the golden boy. You guys got to remember back during the bull market, they were sucking. Oh, he's so good. He's donating all this money. He doesn't care about all these fancy cars. He doesn't care about that. He wants to, you know, use the, his wealth to help help the world out and everything. You know, you might call it crazy, but if you know, there is an alternative universe where Sam Bankman Fried becomes the president of the United States, and then he dumps on all of us. But yeah, guys, that's all we got for today's video. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, daily videos Monday through Friday. Actually, every single day we're posting daily videos and interviews are on Saturday. And yeah, also make sure to go follow me on Twitter. And yeah, thank you for watching.